just a little sting. A third shot in the arm. Well done. Well done, in the fight against COVID. I sort of feel humbled and honoured. These aged care residents among the first in the country to receive their boosters. And it's nice to be up in the, in the front of things. From November 8, anyone over 18 can get one. Today I'm really uh, pleased and privileged to be able to announce that uh, ATAGI has uh, recommended that we commence uh, the booster program for uh, the whole of nation. Initially, at least, Pfizer's the preferred vaccine. Approval for Moderna is still pending. We're being told to get a third jab six months after our second at vaccination clinics, pharmacies and GPs. The first two doses, that primary course, is the full vaccination. After that is, a, is a, an extra bonus, which I would very much encourage people to take up. With no constraints on supply, the vaccine rollout's now racing ahead. After languishing at the bottom of the OECD rankings, Australia's climbing up. With 75% vaccine coverage, we've overtaken the USA and UK. If the ACT were a nation, it'd be third in the developed world. We're beating COVID and we're taking our lives back. Freedoms are being restored, the fortress is coming down. Within days, fully vaccinated Australians can leave the country freely again for the first time in this pandemic. As of Monday, uh, you're free to fly, uh, free to leave the country and go wherever you want to go. Coming back, New South Wales, Victoria and the ACT have scrapped quarantine for international arrivals, provided they're fully vaccinated. But for families with kids over 12 who are not yet double dosed, there'll be an added entry requirement. We're not going to be splitting up families. Those children will be required to have a seven day home quarantine and a couple of tests. With such high vaccine coverage, Australia's reopening to the world months earlier than forecast back in May. The country can finally shake its hermit kingdom image in time for the next election. Jane Norman, ABC News, Canberra.